Today we celebrate the great Jacopone da Todi, born a noble member of the Benedetti family, became a successful lawyer, and married a pious, generous lady named, believe it or not, Vanna. His young wife took it upon herself to do penance for the worldly excesses of her husband. One day Vanna, at the assistance of Giacomo, attended a public tournament. She was sitting in the stands with the other noble ladies when, all of a sudden, the stands collapsed. Vanna was killed. Giacomo was so shaken that he realized that she was wearing a penitential girdle for his sinfulness. On the spot he decided there and then to change his life completely. He divided his possessions among the poor, became a secular Franciscan, dressed in penitential rags, and because of that was sometimes mocked as a fool and called Crazy Jim. After ten years of such humiliation, he asked to be received into the Franciscan order, but because of his reputation, he was initially refused. Uh, he composed a beautiful poem on the vanities of the world, an act that eventually led to his admission into the order in 1278. He continued to live a life of strict penance, declining to be ordained a priest, meanwhile was writing popular hymns in the vernacular. Jacopone suddenly found himself a leader in a disturbing movement among the Franciscans. The spirituals, as they were called, wanted a return to the strict poverty of Francis. They had two cardinals on their side and Pope Celestine V. These two cardinals, though, opposed Celestine's successor, Boniface VIII. At the age of 68, Jacopone was excommunicated and imprisoned. Although he acknowledged his mistake, Jacopone was not absolved and released until Benedict XI became Pope five years later. Can you believe this? He accepted his imprisonment as penance and spent the final three years of his life more spiritual than ever, weeping because love is not love. It was during this time that he wrote the famous Latin hymn, Stabat Mater. But you don't know what Stabat Mater means? At the cross or station weeping. That's the Stabat Mater. On Christmas Eve in 1306, Jacopone felt that the end was near. He was in the convent of some poor Clares Franciscans with his friend Blessed John of Laverna and welcomed Sister Death with one of his favorite songs. He finished the song and died as the priest intoned the Gloria for the Midnight Mass at Christmas. From that time on, Brother Jacopone has been venerated as a saint. If you get a chance, listen to the Stabat Mater. I'm going to put it up right next to this, either above or below. So listen, I'm sure you recognize it. Actually, there are two versions. Uh, at the cross, her station, weeping. That's the Gregorian chant version. And then there are many others. One of the most famous is by Pergolesi. So I'll post both of them. Listen to both. A little culture is good for you. Okay, God bless. Have a wonderful day. And try to imitate Crazy Jim, Jacopone da Todi, which is very close to a sissy, by the way, just in case you didn't know.